Singapore has been under a lot of pressure to take action on football match fixing, certainly since uh, this whole scheme uh, was announced by authorities, and a lot of it seems uh, to be linked by evidence to Singapore. It certainly seems clear uh, Singapore police want to show they're doing something about the problem. So uh, they have confirmed that a key suspect in this massive scheme, a Singaporean named Tan Seat Eng, known as Dan Tan, is quote, assisting them in their investigation into match fixing. Um, Singaporean police were then also able to give a tip-off to Interpol that helped lead to the arrest of another major suspect in match fixing, a 31-year-old Slovenian named Admir Sulijic. Sulijic was arrested as he arrived at a Milan airport on a flight from Singapore. Uh, he is suspected of what Interpol describes as fraud and qualified sporting fraud committed within criminal... With criminal association now singapore police also uh are saying that they are sending four officers uh to what is known as interpol's uh uh investigation their global anti-match fixing task force and this is a team that's going to gather evidence from different countries and help build cases against individuals in match fixing uh but mark singapore is really uh for now holding on to this suspect dan tan who is cooperating with them on thursday the head of interpol uh called for singapore to arrest dan tan it may be that uh for now the singaporean police want to build a case against him or they may find him more useful in his current cooperating role mark liz one follow-up with both of these developments are authorities confident they can make even more arrest in this case I think that is, uh, that's the feeling. Uh, when they start squeezing some of these suspects, uh, some of them do talk, uh, I'm told, usually at the very low levels. So someone like Dan Tan is uh, considered a pretty uh, high catch. Uh, so he could likely uh, lead authorities to, uh, to many, many other suspects. Um, but, but, Mark, this is a web, you know, some people have described this as a web with deep tentacles around the world and the head of interpol himself has said you know the suspects in these uh match fixing they're far ahead of the police so it really is you know for now it just seems that match fixing is a lot easier to do than to stop